Before I start this viewer request video, I just want to let you guys know that I've added four or five new boots to the website, mock toes, mostly mock toes, and then a, a pair of um, Japanese exclusive that are on there. So go now, check it out, and good luck <laughs> if you can get them. Okay, now this is a viewer request video, and the request was could I talk about how my style has changed, which companies do I like and wear now, as far as shoes, boots, and my thoughts on Red Wing now. So here we go. <laughs> okay. So we can blame my style shift, my boot shift, on the pandemic because I was not wearing lace-up, boots or just boots in general, shoes in general, during the pandemic because I was stuck indoors and the only thing I needed was to walk the dog in and out of my house or go to the grocery store or whatever. So I just needed something that I can pull on, pull off very easily. And that was an easy pull on boot, engineer mostly or a Pecos from Red Wing until I started going down the Lucchese and then Rio Sur Mercedes uh, rabbit hole and never turned back because pulling on a boot was so, so <laughs> convenient that I thought, I don't want to wear laces. Like lacing of a boot is just taking time, <laughs> especially if your dog's standing there like, yo, I got to go, I got to go. So that's how it started. And then once I got into knowing and learning about more and more pull-on boots, then it just changed everything. Because with certain pull-on boots, you have to wear certain pants. Not every pant goes well with a pull-on boot. So then I had to kind of like shift all of that. If you, you've heard me say, I, I don't always like to wear jeans, although I'm wearing jeans today because these are new and I'm trying them out. These are from Double RL, limited edition, with a cool buckle back. So that's why I'm wearing these because I gave them their first cold soak, put them on just to wear them. It was a deal I couldn't pass up, so I bought them. I was hesitant because I'm like, I'm not wearing jeans these days, but I put them on. We're going to break them in. And the buckle back sold me, so that's why. And also I can put on some uh, uh, suspenders. That's why I'm wearing jeans. But normally, no jeans. <laughs> Boot brands, I'm currently wearing and absolutely love. Real Sir Mercedes, pull on, comes with an insert for comfort. Just great, great quality, very comfortable, and lots of styles. They, they make everything under, under the sun, anything you want, all different types of, of uh, exotic skins. So you can get, oh, and also if you remember, I did my own Rio Mercedes here with Planet Cowboy. So this is Rio Mercedes. This one is called CJ Blues. So it was cool enough to actually make my own uh, boot. And this is in uh, Navy Cow. I'll give you a close up. So for those of you who, who missed out on this, I have my own Rio Mercedes boot with a nice dress white side welt on this bad boy. So these I absolutely love. And, um, they look great. They look great on, they look great on the shelf. <laughs> so I'm very curious as to uh, if anyone picked these up, but um, they didn't, there wasn't like a massive run of these, but I'm, I wanna do another collab with, uh, with Rio and Mercedes and trying to work on that. All right, the other pull on that I absolutely love, Wesco. Wesco Morrison, I have uh, two, three pairs, four pairs, one on the way, but uh, fell in love with these. These are tough. These are definitely a bit harder to break in, but these can go through anything. I love the West, West Coast Morrison. This one is a bit bulkier, so with what you're wearing, looks great. Uh, not so much dressed up, because it's a bit of a rougher kind of, uh, well, I guess it depends on the leather you, the leather you use. This is a rough out, and it's has uh, been through quite a bit, but, um, these I wear mostly with canvas chinos from Grown and Sewn. Now, 
one thing that I got into during this whole pull on boot is custom. So, and, and the boot that I've been wearing lately, hands down black cherry boot that I had made custom made. So I bought the leather from Red Wing. Uh, this is the black cherry Featherstone. And then I had this, that leather sent down uh, to Texas, had a boot made and these I just love. I absolutely love these and they look so good with everything. I mean, look at what I'm wearing now. Just like it compliments, this just pops. So the black cherry is, is just, I just love this boot so, so much. It looks so good on, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen uh, me post a couple of photos of these, but I, I love burgundy boots. There's just everything. It's just so, so cool. Um, so as far as like pants that I'm wearing lately with these boots, left field chinos, I wear these. This is a straight fit. They look really good with pull on boots because the leg opening is eight inches. So you don't see the shaft printing on, on the uh, pant. So love left field chinos. And then I also probably one of my favorite these days is a Mr. Freedom pant that they do and that because I love the buckle back they have on there so nice they're pricey though Mr. Freedom is pricey uh, so you can probably just do maybe like one uh, one pair and and cherish those bad boys but I absolutely love these these are just spectacular and they have I actually wear these a lot and they look great with uh, my pull-on boots these you can dress up these uh, especially you can dress up because they're a bit darker. They're about, I think these are probably 12 ounces, I want to say. Yeah, probably like 12 ounces. Really, really nice. And then also since I got these, these are also Mr. Freedom because it was like a denim, um, a jean look, but not jeans. So it has this really nice color, buckle back as well. And these also have a nice straight fit so that I can wear them with pull on boots and not have that, uh, that shaft printing on my pant leg. I don't like slim skinny jeans or pants, none jeans, pants, nothing chinos where you're like, I see a lot of that in the city where you, you can see the, a guy's calf muscle, like slim, Pencil, or they, I think they call it pencil. They call it uh, sometimes matchstick. All those like slim. Leave that for your girlfriend. I can only, I own straight fit for me. I can only use straight fit. Straight fit is like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to see your calf muscles or your, or like your phone in your pocket. You see all this. Yeah, no, you're taking away everything. You're taking all the coolness away from your outfit when your pants are so tight. You see all, everything in your pockets and your calves. And I'm like wondering, how the hell did you get your, your foot and your ankle through that leg hole. Like, they probably got stretching them. Leave it for the ladies. Unless, you know. Let's get to Red Wing. So Red Wing, I don't wear mock toes anymore. That's why I've sold most of my mock toes. I prefer the, the profile, the slimmer profile of a, one of, like a pull-on boot. You know, like this is like this bulky kind of mock toe and this, this uh, pull-on boot is nice and slim profile. So that's kind of like what took me away from mock toes. Secondly, the pandemic really messed things up for Red Wing. They didn't produce any boots for quite a long time. And then the few that they did, I personally wasn't interested in purchasing because <laughs> honestly I had so many. And then I started shifting over to, to pull-on. So I was just like, wasn't really interested. Being able to customize a boot, also custom fit is top. There's nothing you can do that can top that. A custom fit boot is, it's just the best. Also being able to say, I like this leather, how about this and that and this and that, putting it all together, um, that's also a fantastic thing. So I know a lot of my Red Wings that I have, I would just send them back. Sometimes I wouldn't even wear them, I would buy them send them back to Red Wing or send them to another cobbler and do what I wanted to do to make it kind of look cooler for lack of a better word. This is an example right here. The 8188 Pecos that I have here normally just come with the cork sole. I bought three pairs so I 
kept one as is, sold one, added a leather stack to the one that I sold, and then this one here that I have yet to wear with a custom sole with, this has the Dr. Soles uh, Super Grip sole on there with the half sole with the leather that I had custom made, and I think it turned out really cool. This one here I did, this is the 1188. So I was at Double RL, they had a pair of 1188s that's, um, it was, they, call, they consider it vintage, selling for $700. I looked at that boot, I was like, this is an 11, like what, that's crazy. An 1188, that's a, normally maybe three, close to 300, maybe not. For $700, and it was, it was beat up, used, and that's kind of what made it cool and vintage. And it was 700 bucks. So this one I called the Ghost Pecos. This is another one that I customized with a, a white Dr. Soul sole on there. So it has the, uh, the light uh, rough out and I put that white sole on there, which is really cool. Um, just something fun to do. And then now I'm able to actually make an actual boot that I go by the leather and draw how I want it, send it down and they make something perfect for me, something that I absolutely love and wear and just looks so cool. Also another Wesco, Wesco is another one where it's, this is totally custom, custom Morrison, height, leather, sole, everything. And this one's a custom fit. I sent measurements in my foot. So that's how my style has changed the brands that I kind of now gravitate towards um, because it's more of like a la carte. So that has been my style transformation. You can blame it on the pandemic. <laughs> you can blame it on a few things, but going from Red Wing with laces to Red Wing, no laces, the Pecos, and then now custom fit, custom styling, and yeah. It just continues. The, the dangerous thing is when I go to these leather stores and I see all these leathers rolled up and or you, they give you a book of swatches and you're just going through and you can pick any leather, sometimes two because you can do, you know, the vamp and the, and the shaft different like these. Uh, this is new buck and this is um, rough out. Then it's just like... It's overwhelming because you could do anything. And it's, if you have the money, you can whatever, whatever, whatever your imagination, it's just there and yeah, you send it out. And it's fantastic. It's slightly addictive, <laughs> slightly addictive why I have so many boots, but it, it's fun. And when they come, when they arrive and you get to, you look, you get to, see them and what you created, what you drew. And, you know, for me, I did this, the green sidewell piping with the black cherry. And then they also did repeated it up here on this uh, deep scallop here. It's just, come on, it's fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys next time. Hopefully with those Wesco boots. I've been waiting on those bad boys. <laughs> see you guys next time. Be a boot.